Boo! Hey, don't be scared, guys. It's me, Profe Pablo. In this video, we are going to learn how to make custom masks in Minecraft like this one. This project is fun and easy to do. Let's do this. So I like to get straight to the point with these tutorials, but I do want to say if you find yourself liking this video, please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Let's get going. Okay, so step one is you need to make sure that you have Blockbench downloaded and everything set up for Minecraft, whether you play on PC or Mac. I have a video about how to set all that up, and that video is in the link below. Once you open Blockbench, you will want to make sure and go down to Item Wizard. If you haven't already downloaded that, you can do that by going to File, Plugins, and then you just search Item up here. It should be under Available, and then it'll move over to Installed. It's the one made by Mojang Studios, super helpful. So go ahead and click on item wizard and then create an item right here. And then you will want to choose helmet right there. Next, and you will need a display name for this. So our display name is going to be, it's going to be Herobrine mask. Actually, I'm gonna capitalize that. Now down here, this is the identifier. It's kind of the technical name and there's always two parts to this. And one is the name of your pack. I'm just gonna put Profe here. Actually, this can be anything, but I typically put the name of my pack there and then a colon and then the name of your item. This isn't gonna be stackable. It is equipment and it's going to be under helmets. Then we are going to press next. Yes, we want this to be wearable on our head. This tells you how much protection. We don't need a lot of protection on this thing. The durability doesn't need to be much either. I think all of this can stay the same. We could turn off the repair item, setting that to zero and setting this to nothing. Then we press next, then next again, and then you want to put it into a pack. You can integrate it into a pack you already have. Go ahead and export it as an add-on, but we're just going to export it to our folder just in case we need to make any tweaks. So this side lets you edit it later. This part lets you put it into a pack you've already made and this already sends it out to be distributed to whoever you want. So the pack name is going to be custom mask two. I'm making it a two because I already have a pack. The author is profe next and next. Okay. Now this is the item that's going to show up in the hot bar. And then this is the actual mask. So let's deal with this first. And all of that is up here. So this is the mask, which we will deal with in a minute. And this is the 3D thing that gets put on our faces. So you'll notice something here. And uh, if you click on this, it creates a full cube. We could make it a different shape or something like that, but we don't want that. And you'll notice that the front is facing north, which is what we want. So all we really need to do is mess with the texture. And here we can put on anything we want. So we can paint over what already exists by going up here to paint. And we can paint right on top of this like this. You can choose any color you want over here. Don't forget you have a color picker, which gives you more. You can do a palette or you can use both like that. And then you just click on this. Uh, you can scroll around by clicking and dragging and moving. You can use the paint bucket to fill in one whole side. And remember, if you get lost, just go back to edit. North is the front. So that's our front right there. Again, we can go ahead and paint whatever we want. So that's how you have a custom face right there. But we want this to look like Herobrine, and we are going to make that happen right now. So to do that, what we are going to do is go over here to import texture. I'll have a link to this file in the description. And we're just going to find the Herobrine mask, click on that, and then we can go ahead and delete this one. And there you go. Just like that, it should pop up just fine. After you have it on your helmet here, you want to go ahead and press Command S or Control S to save. Now let's go over here to our item. So we need this to look like something. Let's go ahead and try and make it look like this face. Here we go. There we go, that's fine. I'm gonna press Control S. Then let's open up Minecraft and test it out. Okay, we're gonna to go to play, create new world. 
make sure that we activate our pack. I usually always start with the behavior pack because after you activate that, it automatically activates the resource pack. I'm going to press create. You can probably hear my computer taking off like an airplane. Oh no, there's an armadillo. Guys, I literally just saw an armadillo in my backyard recently, like an hour ago. They were about that big. All right, let's go ahead and test it out. Oh, I need to put it in creative so I can have cheats on. There we go. Okay, and wow, that did not work at all. Let's go see what happened. Uh, I know, I know. I need to go back and instead of just mapping it, I need to save over that old file. You can find that under development resource packs, the name of your pack, textures, entity, attachables. There it is. So I need to click on that and save and replace it. And that should work. Now let's try again. Ha ha, there we go. And see, now I can freak out my friends. You can always take it off and be like, what? I didn't see anything and then put it back on. Works out great. And that's it. Be sure and like and subscribe. I'm Profe Pablo, and as always, thanks for watching.